what Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory does is we kind of examine concepts and concepts operations to try and determine if they're, if they're viable, you know, how we might realize those capabilities that are necessary to fight like what some people conceive we should fight like in the future. We take pieces of gear, new TTPs, we put them with operating forces and see you know, what good things we can pull from that and try and figure out how we mitigate the negative aspects of it. You know, is it useful? You know, is, is it something we should pursue further, invest more money as we continue to figure out how to develop the future force? When we decide to do things like distributed operations, operate from the sea base, operate in company landing teams, there are some implications with regard to the capabilities you need. So we try and identify what those are, uh, find some surrogate capabilities, whether it's a piece of technology, some additional training, a new organization or formation for a combat unit, uh, and then go actually out somewhere and do something in a real life scenario to see what the utility of the, that is. These are unvetted technologies, you know, so there, some of them are prototypes, some of them are just past being concept demonstrators. You know, so they haven't been through the rigmarole of normal developmental testing or operational testing. So we're trying to figure out how to just get them ready enough so we can work them with the live forces and get their opinions on how they might integrate them and use them. You know, so we go through an iteration of a limited technology assessments that are conducted by our science and technology division. And then we, uh, the experiment division, we kind of work with them to kind of understand how we might apply these capabilities in a real uh, live event. When you look at the advanced warfighting experiment, what we're trying to do, you see a lot of the themes that we're targeting, you know, that are resident in enhanced MACTIP operations have also made their way into Expeditionary Force 21 because we have proven through our experimentation and other venues like Wargating that they're viable. Now, although the infantry battalion will remain the standard unit of deployment, there is a role that we're going to look at pursuing and trying to develop for how company landing teams play into you know, crisis response operations. Additionally, a CLTs in, in different shapes and forms, uh, like a fires experimental landing team based around a high marsh platoon, is something that's relevant to you know, expeditionary advanced space operations, which is another key theme you know, in Expeditionary Force 21. It's kind of great to see that we, you know, the things we've looked at in enhanced active operations you know, have proven viable and are continuing on for further development and advancement to kind of you know, shape how we're going to fight in the future.